What is up guys? I am doing a long overdue review on this Tales from the Crypt Keeper. What is this? 18, I think this is like 18 inches. I believe it's 18 inches. I don't know. It's numbered at, it's a numbered 803 out of 30, there's a lot of these. 30,000. This was made back in 1998. Okay, so it's a Spencer's exclusive. It says it actually right there on the back. You probably can't read it. So this is the Crypt Keeper. A lot of you guys don't know, or if you do know, I'm a big fan of Tales from the Crypt. Been since I was a kid. Love the show. Love the animated series. In case you guys didn't know, there is an animated series of Tales from the Crypt. This is a, a fairly damaged package. I got it on eBay, I think, over a month, maybe even two months ago. Uh, but I was planning on opening it up. I got it for such a cheap price. You can see the packaging is kind of open right here. And it's got that, like, sun-drenched, uh, you know, mess, you know, from the, from the sun right here in the, in the uh, plastic part. And it does read Tales from the Crypt, Crypt Keeper. On the back, you have different images of the Crypt Keeper there from the show, which looks pretty cool. And then again, there's a sticker that says number 3,000 or 30,000. And then on the back, it also has a flap right over here that you can open up. And there is a little bit of a description there. I'm not going to get into that. And then there's some more images of the Crypt Keeper here. I am actually might keep this box to use as a display piece, at least this back part, because I really like that there. Like I, like I said, there's not a lot of merchandise on the Crypt Keeper, but basically what it says is the Crypt Keeper is world's undisputed icon of ghoul, horror, and spectacular fun. He's hip, funny, cutting edge, and without question, the creep of all creeps. Slowly but surely, kiddies, he's become, for Halloween, what that jolly old fat man in the red suit is to Christmas. His first scary appearance was on the amazing pages of the classic EC Comics, the 50s of the 50s where he presided over chilling stories of gore and mayhem so if you guys didn't know the crypt keeper did originate from comic books but he didn't look like this at all so that's the package and again this has a try me mode but when i first got this it did kind of work it doesn't work anymore um but let's go ahead and open this up and see how cool he is because i forgot i had this i totally forgot i had this and uh i've been wanting to open it up ever since i got it oh wow Look at this. Look at that. And he's got a bunch of twisty ties back here, man. Great. Do I have a knife down here? I don't think I have a knife. So we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to cut really quick. Tales from the Crypt. All right. So I got the Crypt Keeper outside of the box. I have, he does come with a little certificate, which reads Tales from the Crypt. And then on the other side, a certificate of authenticity, limited one of 30,000, and then it says limited edition collectible doll from your favorite classic TV show. You can see that right there. Now, unfortunately for this, he does not, the, the um, sound effects don't work on him. I tried to replace the batteries in the back, and the it just, it's really messed up where the battery pack is, so it's I'm, I'm not able to get this guy to do the sound effects, unfortunately. So it kind of bums me out. Um, but I got, again, I got this guy for super cheap, yeah, so it doesn't really bug me. Now, he, he's a very stocky looking Crypt Keeper. I mean, you can see he's got a little bit of, of weight to him. He doesn't look as skinny. I mean, because this guy's pretty much just bones. But I do like the look. Um, I have one similar to it by the Trends, Trends Masters. This one here has a sound effect too. This one's battery dies. I got. I have, to, I have to replace this one. This one does still work, and it works very good. I did a review on them too. But this one here, obviously, you can see the differences in scale. One is fairly larger than the other, but I would have liked a Crypt Keeper this size in his cloak, in that like kind of cloak that he's wearing, or him in a chair, you know what I mean? Because you always see him in a chair with the book. He should have came with the book, too. Um, you can see the outfit. He's got a flower. He's wearing a little suit, and then the back right over here, and then you have his little feet there. You can see how cool that looks, and I think he stands for the most part. Seems like he's got like a bendy wire in the legs, but I think I can get him to stand if I maneuver him a little bit. The hair... You can, you can see, look at this, you lift this up, he's got nothing back there. The head sculpt looks pretty cool, but the hair is kind of like fuzzy, kind of reminds me of like Doc Brown's hair. And then you can see a close up right there on the Crypt Keeper's head sculpt. Doesn't look too bad at all. Then you have his hands here. This one has kind of like a pointing finger. So yeah, it, it feels like there's like a bendy wire in there. So again, this is a nice piece. I've seen this guy go for over, over $100 in box, brand new. I got mine for way under that so i couldn't miss the price um like i said unfortunately he didn't um the sound effects on him didn't work but uh either way it's still great to have a piece like this in my collection especially in the scale i i honestly like this one a lot more because i think the look looks a lot more like the crypt keeper this one 
it kind of doesn't it kind of doesn't I, I prefer this one but um again i would love to have them in that classic look with the robe but and then this isn't the only crypt keeper figure that i have i have the old school i think it's trend masters who makes them i'm looking over here in my collection on the side the ones i have from tales from the crypt keeper those are more like the classic animated series and, and they even have the crypt keeper in his classic look in some of those figures there so i hope one day maybe NECA or Mezco Toys or somebody tackles on an ultimate figure of the Crypt Keeper because I think we need more Crypt Keepers in our life. This is this is just a, a character I absolutely love. Um, if you haven't seen the show, you can watch some of the episodes on YouTube. They have a lot of the animated series, Tales from the Crypt Keeper on YouTube, which is what those figures um, are that I showed right now on the card. Those are That's what those are uh, based off of. But let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Is this a pickup? Is it a pass? And if you guys own any merchandise from the Crypt Keeper, let me know down below. And what is your favorite... Okay, let's, let's ask a little question here. What is your favorite Tales from the Crypt episode? If you've seen the Tales from the Crypt Keeper cartoons, what is your favorite Tales from the Crypt Keeper cartoon episode? And movie, because the Demon Knight movie was awesome. But let me, uh, Bordello of Blood wasn't that great. But let me know in the comments below, guys. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Do you own any of these? What's your favorite episodes? And we're almost to 100,000 subscribers. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. We will see you soon. Tomorrow's Halloween. The day I'm filming this is Friday, October 30th. So happy Halloween, guys. Later. Peace. Don't believe.